American politicians are very afraid. They're scared of Chinese battery companies, maybe even of South Korean ones as well. I don't know. But there's not a single US battery company in the world in the top 10 biggest battery companies. In fact, not even in the top 15. The US government is putting sanctions on these companies because it's afraid, like the Chinese government, that they have a monopoly, which they kind of do. The world's biggest battery companies in 2024. Who were they for for the entire year? Well, as you know, the biggest is in China. The US government now says that uh, the world's biggest battery company in China, CATL, they officially classify them as a military organization, which is insane. They're a publicly listed company. Many Americans are even invested in their stock. Anyhow, here are the top 10 biggest battery companies in the world. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. I want to say thank you to all of our YouTube members. Guys, really, really appreciate your support. If you'd like to become a YouTube member, that'd be amazing. I'll put a link in the description. Just click on that description, click on that link, and then you can become a YouTube member. The global EV battery market. Now, this is technically from January to November, so for those 11 months, but um, I've seen preliminary data for December and it's, it's no different. So this is essentially 2024. The biggest battery company in the world by a mile, and I don't expect this to probably ever change, is CATL. Not only are they the biggest battery company, but they have the best batteries. Well, okay, it's pretty close between CATL and Geely, which is crazy, Geely, right? But anyway, CATL have 36.8% global market share. The Chinese government says that they have a monopoly and they are concerned. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Second place was BYD. Now, BYD and LG Energy Solutions is quite interesting because LG Energy Solutions and CATL, they used to be one and two. And in fact, at one point, LG was bigger than CATL. As you can see, uh, LG have had many problems, many recalls, many fire problems. Here in Australia, they recalled 14,000 home batteries because they had literally thousands of fires. Um, the most plagued EVs in the world that have had fire problems have used LG batteries. Now, they've improved since, well, recently, I hope anyway. BYD is in second with 17.1% market share. In third place, LG has 11.6%. So as you can see, BYD have really pulled away from LG. Now, BYD, I believe, will lose market share unless they can get their new Blade Battery version 2. There's two versions of the Blade Battery version 2. There's the high energy density version. It's meant to have an energy density of about 205 to 210 watt hours per kilogram, which is extremely high for LFP. And there's a much lower energy density version that is meant to be able to charge much, much faster at around 600 kilowatt charging speed. So those two batteries, BYD have those. They apparently are getting them to market soon. At this point in time, it's amazing BYD has so much market share because the blade battery is okay, but it's 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 dated now, put it that way. Energy density is low, charging speeds low in comparison to their rivals. The new versions, though, will definitely help BYD. Third place, of course, LG has 11.6%. LG does not sell lithium-ion phosphate batteries, which are the most popular type of battery in the world. That is about to change, though. They've been working on LFP batteries. LFP is obviously a shorthand for lithium-ion phosphate. But at this point in time, really, the only batteries that LG sells en masse are nickel-manganese cobalt batteries. And that one of their clients is Tesla. And really the reason for that is not because um, LG's batteries are great, it's simply because of price. Fourth is CALB. Now Tesla recently signed a contract with CALB. CALB will build batteries for Tesla in Malaysia so that Tesla can get around the US government's basically um, you know, huge tariffs on Chinese batteries. But they will be Chinese batteries, they'll just be coming from Malaysia instead of from China. Pretty smart move from Tesla, if you ask me. CALB has 4.6% global market share. Close behind them is SK On. SK On, South Korean, as is LG Energy Solutions. SK On, uh, they've built several factories in the US in conjunction with Ford. And I believe they've also signed a contract with General Motors as well. Next is Panasonic. Panasonic have 4% market share. They're sitting in sixth place worldwide. Kind of surprising, isn't it, when you think only 4%? 
global market share for a company that you know everyone knows Panasonic make batteries for Tesla Tesla's biggest supplier in the United States although that's probably going to change because Tesla is building has production lines at its Nevada factory for lithium ion phosphate batteries that it is a licensing from CATL I don't know how the US government's going to feel about that considering what they've just done to CATL well yesterday Next is Samsung SDI, obviously now the South Korean company, Samsung primarily manufactures NMC chemistry batteries, so not LFP batteries either, and they have 3.7% market share. So as you can see, those four companies, CALB, SK On, Panasonic, and Samsung SDI, they all have between 4.6 and 3.7% market share, or around about 10% the market share that CATL have. They're very small in comparison to CATL, put it that way. Goshan High Tech is next with 2.7% next with market share. Goshan High Tech is in part owned, I believe, about 30 to 35% by the Volkswagen Group. Goshan High Tech have built a, an LFP battery factory in the United States. They were planning on building a second one. I believe that's been blocked by the local town, even though they did buy the land. Anyhow, they are at Goshan High Tech, make some very, very high tech LFP batteries, and they are based primarily in China. They're a Chinese battery company. Next is Eve Energy, also a Chinese battery company. They have 2.3% market share. Now, before I forget, CALB, I have CALB batteries in my car right here. So, CALB, they're the fourth largest in the world, as I mentioned earlier. I have NMC batteries made by CALB because that's what Xpeng uses in most of their EVs. CALB do make lithium ion phosphate batteries as well, and those batteries come in the standard range version of the XPeng G6. I bought the long range version. Eve Energy has 2.3% market share in eighth place. In 10th place is Sunwider with 2% market share. And the rest of the world, with all their other battery companies, um, Northvolt and all those companies in Europe, blah, blah, blah. They only had 10% market share put together. And that's probably about 50 different battery companies. There is one, there's a, in fact, not one, there's a few battery companies here in Australia. There's a few in America that um, I've done videos about. But as you can see, the rest of the world has a very small amount of market share. Really, the most of the world's battery production is just from those three companies, CATL, BYD, and LG Energy Solution, who between them own around well, nearly 70% global market share. But CATL clearly are leading by a mile. Because when you think about it, CATL have about as much market share as 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. All of those companies, put them all together. That's about the size of CATL. They are enormous. Thanks for watching.